Okay, so we're here. Let's check out the encampment first. If that makes sense. It looks like someone's still living here. Uh, do we have talk? So the other neat thing that they did, there used to be like um, more options. They kind of find trim down the excess. Uh, talk to no, can't talk to ten. Ooh. It could be useful in the right spot. Use wit with, with encamp. That'll work. None of this is interactable. Go to the. So I'm guessing we've got to go to the old dig site. Hey, just who we want, I believe. Hello. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. From the back, I thought it was going to be a young person, uh, but there's like a white bit there, so mustache, old guy. Um... Not feeling, are we, Doctor? I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, we'll point out that he's not being very friendly. We're feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Okay, they're being very rapidly short answers. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Uh... <laughs> Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. I don't know. Maybe Sophia has an idea. Oh, we'll go for the quip. Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no. They were stopped by a first field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Okay, that is weird. The fact that that line's in there, given like Crystal Skull happened. Wow, okay. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Okay, let's let's go down the rabbit hole. Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. That is a really weird accent. So, what's the link between? So. <laughs> Ooh, it's tempting. Further down the rabbit hole, or take a dig at our companion. Um, dig at companion. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you want. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow. But very clever. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. Meanwhile, I've got an Atlantean artifact right in front of me. Okay, so what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently, I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. 
Go ahead, blame it all on me. Uh, da. What's this thing you're working on? What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here. Uh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Okay, well, we may as well ask. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Talk to Sternhart and Costa. Costa, okay. Uh, can I get coffee there? What is this eel artifact again? I already told you, it's a, a, an Atlantean radio, I think. Okay. Where, where did you say those pieces come from? Where did from? you say those pieces come from? If it's artifacts of Atlantis, you want, talk to Sternhart and Costa. Okay. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Uh, let's get out of here, because he's crazy. So I'm guessing we've got a couple of new points on our map. Let's head for the airport. So we're in Iceland. That's where we started. That's... Let's go here. Okay. Okay. Sophia? Yes? Do you like the tropics? How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great, thanks for reminding me. Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. Well, what do we do now? We probably should find Sternhardt. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. Okay. I will. Da, da, da. Are we in another monkey island? Yeah, we are. Okay, that wasn't. Okay, this is good. piece of equipment. With tree. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. Okay. It'd be useful in the right spot. Use whip with giant anaconda. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. Perhaps we can read it to death? That'll work. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. Uh, talk to Parrot? I can't talk to that bird from here. Use whip with Parrot. Okay. So it's the middle one. We'll remember that later. So we need something to deal Let's with the airport. snakes. that us coming in on the plane? That's us arriving by car. This is his house? This is it. Okay. 
Mr. Costa? Pipe down. I'm coming. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Uh... I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? Okay, <laughs> may as well. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana, what kind of stupid name is that? <clears throat> nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sophia? Yes? You... you... you uh, suggested it, so... Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Oh, okay. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Okay, we'll do pleasant introduction. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, the renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. Um... <laughs> Tempting. Well, he did throw the gauntlet down. Actually, he's named after the family dog. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. Bit of levity. What can you tell us about Atlantis? I can tell you this, you're standing on it. It never sank, at least not all the way. So what happened to the Atlanteans? What happened to the Atlanteans? Well, they had a run of bad luck, demons and devils, and they left. However, their spirits have personally told me it was mostly bad luck. Uh... So you talk to the spirits too. So you talk to these Atlantean spirits? All the time. They've got me collecting their material things so they can come back to Earth. Aliens, again. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Have you read it? Do you have it? Oh. Nope. Have you read it? Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Um... Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. What a charming old man. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Excuse me? Yes? Uh... I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. That's quite a neat dynamic. Okay. So we need to get something to trade. She won't trade her necklace. Come on, let's go. It 
So... There's an artifact in the frozen thing here. Wonder if I have the option to let her talk. Excuse me. What's on your mind? Uh. I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say spaceman my eye. Okay. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? What is this eel artifact again? I already told you. It's uh, uh, an Atlantean fish trap. I think. Okay. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. It's my favorite piece of equipment. I don't think that'll work. Okay. There's nothing else around here. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? What was that about the lost dialogue? Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. So we've got to do something to get him. A couple of the games. When people are in animation. Nope. You could interact with the things. That's the artifact that we want. None of that. Let's head for the airport. Okay. Four locations. doing here um i was gonna ask you the same thing this is your territory professor not mine you figure it out what do we do now let's bid farewell to this ivory tower let's look around you go i'll wait Okay, so whatever we do here, we do it alone. Ah, oh, there are the stairs that was blocked in the intro. Coal. A fine sample of bitumen. Can we have some coal? We can have some coal. Can we pick up more coal? Okay. It's hot. Uh, open. Okay, we can it's do that. Very hot. It's a greasy old towel. Okay, we're getting stuff now, which is better. Oh, shoot. Stairs. got something oh. it says where have you gone Joe DiMaggio oh, sure. perhaps it was the bulletin board I thought I saw office door 
Ah, it's out there. Not sure why I'd want a lump of coal and dirty rag, but I prefer to have them. Phew, guess I should have cleaned it out. Is there anything in there? Pick up. Yeah. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Okay. Just show. We'll look at the show. Soggy idol. Ah, letters from the school principal to my dad. They all begin the same way. Regarding Henry. Okay, jackets. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Okay. Can't use the ladder, I suppose. So we've got a few tricks. Um, okay, so this goes here, which we don't need to do because we haven't got what we need. Listen. Yes. Um. What do we do now? Let's move on. Okay. So she agrees. Okay. Come on, let's go. Have I got anything to deal with a snake? Okay, use coal. That'll just make a mess. Use coal with. That'll just make a mess. Use rack with. I don't think that'll work. Okay. He looks like a jungle rodent. Uh, give uh, let's try talking to it he looks like a jungle rodent can't chase him about though Gets us here. <clears throat> uh, use coal with. Oh. That'll just make a mess. It's a greasy old towel. I don't think that'll work. Uh, let's try using the mayonnaise. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, use the whip with I mayonnaise. Don't think that'll work. Uh, look at. It's a snake. I hate snakes. Look at parrot. What a smart-looking bird. Talk to smart-looking bird. I can't talk to that bird from here. Um, uh, 
use wit with jungle road is too far away okay aha Okay, that Good old mother nature. That was a bit dark. Okay. It could be useful in the right spot. So we use whip with tree. I don't think that'll work. That's my whip. I don't think that'll work. It looks pretty flexible. Um, bush tree. I can't move it. Oh, tree. I can't move it. Use tree. Okay. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Uh, hello. How did you get over here? How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Okay, uh, let's look around. Okay. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Um... Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhard, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Okay. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. So does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. What are men who are not men? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. You actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. What can you tell us about the temple? Rumors have it that the temple was built by survivors of Atlantis. Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Ah, uh, bless. It's gonna fall flat. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! Okay. Thanks. We just like to look around. As you wish. Don't forget about my investment grade curios. Okay. Let's give that to him. No thanks. I don't want it. Oh, uh, but that was proof. Excuse me. Yes. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no! I was about to say that. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the Lost Dialogue.
I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh... The Pleiades. Pleiades! <coughs> Too bad, old bloke, that's not the answer. Well now, let me guess. Hey! Yes? You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Okay, that was in both lists. The Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Okay, let's talk to the parrot. Echo. Echo. Tetrahedron? Tetrahedron. A four-sided solid. Okay, that is a smart parrot. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Um, tetrahedron? Tetrahedron, a four-sided solid. Well now, let me guess. Hey. Yes? You simply must possess a genuine Tikal floaty pen. Floaty pen? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Obviously, you're not serious about this. Listen. Yes? What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Okay. Well now, let me guess. Hey. Yes? You can't live without the three-inch pewter replica of the temple. Um, no thanks. Then what can I do for you? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron! Ah! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Does this mean we can... Yes, we can. Okay, that's good to know. Let's find the airport. 